ClickSense Data Architect Certification Exam QSDA 2022 Real Questions are the best guides for you to prepare for the test well. 1. A company needs to analyze sales data based on the exchange rate of the different countries every day about 30 reports must be produced with an average of 20 ROOO rows each. This process is estimated to take about 3 hours. Reports will be in Excel and distributed to business users according to defined security rules. Which two products should the data architect use to build this solution? Select two. A. OQIIK Geo Analytics. B. ODAG. C. QIIK Data Market. D. Click Storytelling. E. QIIK Endprinting. 2. A data architect needs to efficiently prepare a data model for a meeting in an hour. The data source to be used contains five date fields. The app needs to display sales trends and compare the current year to date. CYTD, to last year to date. LYTD. The app is not going to be published, it will only be used for this meeting and a single user's ad hoc analysis. What should the data architect do to meet these requirements? A. Use the data manager. B. Load a calendar island. C. Create a canonical calendar. D. Create five master calendars. 3. A data architect needs to load data from two different databases. Additional data will be added from a folder that contains QVDs, text files, and Excel files. What is the minimum number of data connections required? A. 2 B. 5 C. 4 D. 3 4 A global retailer has a large database in which millions of sales transactions are added per hour. Each regional sales manager should only see details for customers in their region. After filtering based on criteria such as region, gender, and income level, sales managers should be able to see the most current detailed transactions. What should a data architect do to meet these requirements? A. Create an app for each sales manager with Click Geo Analytics. B. Use section access and include a service account in the table. C. Use on-demand app generation, ODAG, and section access. D. Use section access to restrict sales manager access by region. 5. The marketing department is using some similar KPIs in different apps that need to be modified frequently according to the business needs. The KPIs are created using master items with the same expression. Which method should the data architect use to manage the modifications in all apps? A. Create a variable repository and load them using include statements in the apps where needed. B. Create a selection app with all the master items and use an on-demand app generation method. C. Create a core app with all the master items needed and use a binary load in the other apps. D. Create only a single app with all the master items needed and protect it with section access. 6. Users of a published app report incomplete visualizations. The data architect checks the app multiple times and cannot replicate the error. The error affects only one team. What is the most likely cause? A. An omit field has been applied. B. Section access restricts too many records. C. A security rule has been applied to the sheet object. D. The affected users were not added to the section table. 7. 
A data architect is developing an app that will generate QVDs for multiple business analysts. The field naming conventions on the source data are not business friendly. For every table loaded, multiple fields will require a name change. An Excel file is maintained centrally that lists all source data field names and the appropriate names as they should appear in the QVDs. Which strategy should the data architect use to meet these requirements? A. Use the rename function and a mapping load. B. Create master items using business-friendly names. C. Use the alias function and a mapping load. D. Load in the Excel file as a data island and use the peak function. 8. A data architect needs to revise an existing app. The number of data rows has grown rapidly recently. While the app is in production, users are becoming increasingly unhappy about the response times when they make selections. Which two methods should be used to improve performance? Select two. A. Use dynamic script generation with variables. B. Denormalize the schema. C. Make sure any all variables are preceded by equals. D. Use flags in the data model to simplify set analysis. E. Create master items for all complex expressions. 9. A company decides to migrate all apps from ClickView to ClickSense. After converting an apps, there are several unconverted objects. What should the data architect do? A. Save the unconverted objects as extensions and import them into ClickSense. B. Remove the set analysis statements from the unconverted objects. C. Recreate the unconverted objects. D. Save the unconverted objects as master items. 10. A data architect builds a data model for a large user group. Some sheets will be published, and the app will allow users to create their own visualizations and analyze data. Some fields must not appear in any field list. How should a data architect meet these requirements? A. Use hide prefix variable. B. Add fields to master items. C. Use security rules. D. Use hide field variable.